Hi everyone, I'm Kanika. Welcome back to Yuna Voyage. So today I'll be analyzing the IPMAT in the 2023 paper. Uh, analyzing any past year paper or past year questions is really helpful in understanding the pattern for the upcoming years and also understanding which topics to focus on uh, during your preparation. So we hope that this video helps you understanding and predicting the pattern. Uh, so let's get on with the analysis. The first thing that we heard from a lot of students uh, about the paper was that the, subject, uh, the short answer type questions, the first section was relatively more difficult than the past years, uh, while the verbal ability section was actually easier than previous year questions and previous year papers. And uh, this was also quite evident in the cutoff, which was very, very high actually for verbal ability, but very low for the first section, that is the short answer type questions. And the quad section, which was the second section, was actually relatively predictable and it, the, the difficulty level was moderate. It remained the same only as past years. So the, the cutoff also remained pretty much the same for um, 2023 and 2022. Now let's get into the in-depth analysis of the paper. So some general things that uh, were noted was that the pattern that was followed was of 15, 30, 45, which is 15 questions of, of short answer, 30 questions of quant and 45 questions of word probability. Uh, then there was, and uh, also there was no negative marking for the first section, there is a short answer type question, so plus 4 uh, and 0 for wrong answer. And for the other two sections, it was plus 4 for correct answer and minus 1 for wrong answer, so there was negative marking for the other two sections. Then an on-screen calculator was present. Also, uh, there was, as such, uh, like you weren't allowed to switch between sections there was a sectional timer present there was a sectional time limit and the total time given was of 120 minutes now these are certain points that have remained consistent for 2022 and 2023 so we're expecting a similar pattern for even 2024 now before we get into the chapter wise distribution of each and every section i would request you all to please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button if you were enjoying this video so far and if you're finding it useful so let's first talk about the first section which is the short answer type question section and as you can see this is the approximate division of uh, chapters and questions so the major focus is on pnc and probability and uh, i'll just give you a few tips along the way so the thing about this particular uh, chapter is that uh, already the itj students or the ones who are prepared or like the science students have an edge here so if you um because they're already doing quite high level questions of pnc and probability so i think you should try to solve those questions as well if you're a non-math student you should focus a lot more on pnc and probability it's very consistently been seen that those two chapters come a lot more than any other chapter and even sequences and series for that matter especially for the first section then uh, if we talk about the second section which is quants uh, again there as you can see pnc and probability had roughly four questions so in total from the first two sections we have like around five to six questions from just these two chapters which is why focusing on these two chapters becomes very very crucial uh, moreover, so uh, this time we had a lot more questions from geometry, uh, specifically coordinate geometry. And uh, there are certain things that remain consistent, like questions from set theory, questions from log functions, number system, and like around nine questions from arithmetic. So you should definitely focus on these few chapters uh, and give priority to these few chapters. Uh, if you're watching this video at the very last minute, like for instance, um, then focusing on these chapters is very important. You'll get a lot of videos in the internet on these chapters. So definitely go through them. Uh, now let's talk about the DI set, which was of uh, five questions. And the thing is that uh, this was very logic based. It was not calculation based. And that's pretty much how it has been. Uh, that's how it 
usually is for the di set and so therefore i think that for a lot of people who say that because they're only giving ip mat and door practicing a uh, logical reasoning is uh, pointless because there is no separate section for that i think that's very wrong because especially for di uh you have to practice puzzle based questions because in my opinion the thing is that you can solve five questions just using one particular logic and i think that's less time consuming as compared to solving five questions with five separate concepts and five different logics being used therefore if you just crack the code for one question in the di set you can pretty much solve the entire di set and grab those 20 marks and roughly the cut off in quant is around 40ish so you're already getting half of the cut off with just one di set therefore focusing on puzzle based questions uh, and like logical questions becomes very very important now moving on to verbal ability the pattern was pretty much the same as 2022 the only difference was in idioms and phrases where a lot more phrasal verbs were asked than idioms so uh, since we were ex- we do not know if in 2024 they'll focus more on idioms or phrasal verbs i think as a 2024 aspirant you should focus on um, phrasal verbs this time and um, if you're asking for like a resource where should we practice it from so um for like if you're a cpsc student you might not be very familiar with phrasal verbs because it is a concept that is very frequently tested in icsc board examinations and so you can refer to icsc past your papers on their site or you can even go through a lot of uh, icsc specific videos on the internet for phrasal verbs uh so yeah that's it for all the three sections overall the level of difficulty of the paper was moderate and um the general pattern and the rules remained same as that for 2022 so we're expecting the same for 2024 as well and now we have like a consistent and a very predictable pattern so yeah thank you so much for watching please subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful thank you Thank you.